Hey there. This is Conan O'Brien. Welcome to Conan O'Brien. Why is everyone laughing? Because <laughs> you gave it such a buildup like it was going to be something revolutionary. You did weird voices with your mouth. I warmed up. I went, and then I went, hey there. <laughs> this is Conan O'Brien. Welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, uh, the podcast that gives and gives and gives. <laughs> And then eventually gives out. <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's the key. Uh, sitting here with, of course, Matt Gorley. Matt, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. Usually I interview, uh, introduce uh, Sona first, but I thought I'd flip it up. Oh. Okay. Show you that I'm agile. I have an agile mind. Sona, how are you? I shake things up. <laughs> how are you? Introducing Matt first. Yeah. Yeah. You never know what's going to happen <laughs> Keep here. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. How are you? I'm good. I'm not bad. I'm cool. Okay. All right. Very what, good. Do you want, what, do you want me to say more? No. I think that's, I think that's adequate. You know, you did the minimum amount that you should do. <laughs> I am fine. And you, I think AI is, do you think AI can ever replace Sony? Everyone's talking about what AI can do. Yeah. There already are AI podcasts of say a Joe Rogan, and I'm sure there's already been some of you. You think so? Yeah. Probably. I think this is very easily AI-able. I don't know. My mind is so hard to program or categorize, I could see algorithms being confused by my magical brain. Really? Because the listeners should know that Sona and I are just sitting in a room with an AI machine right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the two of you are not AI-able, but I think I am. That's I laugh not true. and I just go, oh God, bleh, 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 bleh. like that's what I do and that's You're fine. right. Yeah. Oh. We could probably just take uh, clips yeah. of Sona. Oh, absolutely. You know, oh boy, huh? Oh, really? Really? That's what you think? Yeah. yeah. And then we just split our salary? Uh, well, I would retain it all, I believe. Oh, what's in it for me then? Oh, nothing. You get nothing and I get more falcons! <laughs> 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 I really got into falconry over the summer. Yeah. Oh, Yo, you did? Wouldn't it be great if that was something I got into and I had the the glove and I had a whole bunch of falcons and they had the little blinders on and I had the jackets that they wear. When you they... should do that. No, you'd no? be the least falcony guy that's ever that's falconed. True. Cause you'd just be like this the whole time, like covering your Cowering. face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd wear a, um, you know what people wear uh, when they're fencing. I'd wear one of those complete cages around my face. <laughs> And and you, it would, the falcon would be rolling his eyes a lot. Like, oh God! <laughs> they well, put the, they'd put like the blinder on. They put the blinder on just so I couldn't see it roll its eyes. <laughs> That's what they're there for. I would have sarcastic <laughs> falcons, sarcastic passive aggressive falcons. Anyway, I've always been fascinated by the idea of uh, falconry. You should do it. Have you ever done it? No. I, I I think we did on late night. We did so many animal segments over the years that I know. I've probably had, a, I'm sure I've had a falcon on my shoulder and a falcon on my arm. Fans can look for it and I'm sure it'll come up instantly. Whenever I say, no, I've never done blank, mm. instantly someone can find it on the internet. Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend is brought to you by T-Mobile. From listening to your favorite podcast while driving cross country to listening at home, T-Mobile helps you stay connected. Mm. I wonder what people's favorite podcast is. Oh, Ooh. I've got some ideas. Actually, it's one idea. Yeah. You'll figure it out. T-Mobile is America's largest and fastest 5G network. You can have seamless video calling. Oh, that's good. Streaming your favorite podcast. I'm not going to say which one it is. Yeah. Downloading apps, games. Boy, you know what a gamer I am. You're such a gamer. Play Starbursters. Yeah. Or Realm of Xanos. <laughs> <laughs> You can watch your favorite TV episodes, classic Conan, new Conan, oh. old Conan, mid-season Conan, as long as it's Conan. Oh, no. Find out more at tmobile.com slash network, fastest based on media and overall combined 5G speeds, according to analysis by Ookla of Speed <laughs> Test Intelligence Data for Q1 2023 C 5G device coverage and access details at tmobile.com. So, yes, I'm certain that I've done it on television, but no, I don't even know how I would... I I actually, to be honest now, with you, I don't even know what it is. I think it's a thing now actually in the L.A. area, like a sort of thing that hipsters can go do and stuff. Is... Hipsters do everything yeah. that comes from another time and has no use. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like churning butter. Axe throwing. Uh -huh. Axe throwing. Surgery. What? I, I want you know, I want a hipster surgeon. <laughs> when it's time for me to have surgery, I want a hipster to do These it. These are authentic rust-laden tools from the 18th century. <laughs> exactly, yeah. We, we, we do surgery before, the, the way it was done before the 20th century, because it all got so sterile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do it with these rusty tools, and uh, we all grow weird beards and we don't clean them. And then... <sighs> 
the beard, the oily beard hair falls into your open wound. Yeah. Uh, Fuck no. you, hipsters. Yeah. No, Is that I'm what not, we're doing? No, we're not doing oh, that. Oh, I thought we were doing that because you guys got a little... That's half of Matt's friends. <laughs> you got to admit. No, I don't have hipster friends. You don't have hipster friends? Mm-mm. Come on. No, I don't think I do. I think I have pretty square friends. Okay. Yeah. Well, some squares are also hipsters. I guess that's true. Maybe. I don't know. You can't judge yourself from within, huh? What? What are you guys talking about? You know what? You've tried to sell that poster to college campuses. (laughs) You can't judge yourself from within, and it's a cat (laughs) hanging on a limb. Or it's Einstein sticking out his tongue. I bet I could you sell that to hipsters. You can't judge yourself from within. <laughs> It'd be great to just come up with terrible slogans and try and sell them to college campuses. You would be would so be good. good at that. Yeah. You're the one that you knew you had to be. Yeah. And then there's a turtle <laughs> yeah. bumping heads with another turtle. Just try to sell those on campus. Watch yourself get married. <laughs> I mean, just what's the image? That, no, the image never has anything to do with the same. No, it doesn't. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like That's this like, glass of water. Yeah. yeah, it's just that glass of water, and then the saying is, "Whenever you think you were, that was what it was." <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a Volks, yellow Volkswagen. It's a yellow Volkswagen. <laughs> Tomorrow is yesterday's idea <laughs> of what you ate. And then it's a baby elephant sleeping, wearing a sombrero. <laughs> We're going to sell that yeah, to somebody. Yeah, we really have to. Those I, I, are good. Merch. I'm smelling merch. merch. I want more. Can merch. you do another one? These are fun. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Come on, make me laugh. <laughs> Clown. <laughs> this AI is working pretty well. Yeah, it is it? working really well. It gets him. Uh, sunshine is the regret you used to know during daylight and mind. then just put underneath it Thoreau. <laughs> you can just put anybody's name underneath it. You know what I'd love to do is just is sell a whole bunch that are like, shit's going down, Gandhi. <laughs> that's good. You know, that's what I want to do. Who farted? Thackeray. <laughs> Back that shit up. Jane Austen. <laughs> I want to sell those right now. You got We're on it. You got <laughs> right? Isn't that the? Isn't that? Back that shit. Back that shit up. Jane Austen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we absolutely have to do. We're gonna get sued by everyone's estate. Oh come on! No, They're not that's paying fair attention. Use. <laughs> okay. Fair use. Oh, okay. Their copyright is yeah, expired. Everyone knows yeah. how Jane Austen talks. Yeah, if anyone knows, it's you two about copyright law. There we go. We're good. Uh, <sighs> I'm crying. I'm actually crying a little bit. <laughs> Back that shit up got me really good. Drop it like it's hot, ho. <laughs> Melville. <laughs> I'd hit that. Mary Todd Lincoln. <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> We're going to sell these. We should. And I don't see any legal or moral reason why we should. I don't think there could be because nope. you can do anything with those historical figures. If you've liked what I've just said, um, write to me, care of make that poster, dude, <laughs> at 2222 Scooby Doo Avenue. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll get right back at you, postage included. No city, no state. Oh, come on, no... man. Yeah, state of cool. <laughs> oh. City of here and now. <laughs> yep. Shabadoo ding dong. Habaskaba day. I got to pull the plug on this. What is wrong with you? I'm the one person, my wife is going to have me attached to a machine and then pull the plug. Just so She's she going to have the plug inserted just so she can yeah. pull it and I'll yeah. be perfectly healthy. 